Well, families filled the Pike Pine River Bacchus High School gym yesterday to watch a different kind of basketball game. For this week's Community Spotlight, Sarah Winkleman takes us to the annual donkey basketball game. <laughs> it was an afternoon full of laughter as players mounted their stubborn donkeys for some basketball. I play basketball from the donkey. Um, some people are okay and some people aren't so okay at it. With all local talent competing for the prize. We have com consolidated the Pine River and Bacchus Fire Departments. We have two businesses, Scamp Trailer Sales from Bacchus and the Bacchus Locker. It's a game of four on four, all while riding a donkey. It's interesting. <laughs> In order to shoot or pass the ball, the player must be sitting on their donkey, which is perhaps easier said than done. <laughs> My donkey was uh, walking in circles pretty much the opposite way most of the time. With each team member having their own struggles. And you can tell they definitely have uh, different personalities. My poor little donkey, I don't weigh that much, but he was pretty tired and I could tell. So I was just kind of trying to get him to go. Some didn't move while others never seemed to stop. Absolutely. We need something for every rider that, that might be out there. So we've got donkeys for grandmas and we've got donkeys for young guys that need a beating. <laughs> but a struggle that is well worth it in the eyes of the riders. It's hysterical to ride the donkey, it's funny to watch, and it's for a great cause. The funds raised will help with the annual Bacchus Corn Fest in August. We like to see people have fun and, you know, just, it's just, it's just, just fun to get everybody together. This year, it was the Pine River Fire Department that walked away as the champions. Reporting in Pine River, Sarah Winkleman, Lakeland News. And in between the games, the kids are able to get a donkey ride as well. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.